Right guys, I, I know the channel's been a bit um, up in the air recently with like, all the cars coming and going. Um, it's about to get worse. If you don't know, I did buy this say a Rosa. Today is Monday actually. It's been a week since I've had this car. It is up for sale. Um, long story short, it just needs a bit too much work. My intentions were to keep it and maybe do the work. I've got a quote on some paint and stuff. Mechanically, it's per perfect. But I don't know if you saw it in, in, in the other video, but we started to take off the, the, the wrap. You can see like, this part's wrapped to cover the sun fading. And here it's all gone a bit dull. The bonnet is where we like unveiled it kind of thing. Under here it's like gone down to like the, the actual uh, metal of the car. So yeah, mechanically it's absolutely spot on. It drove two and a half hours on the motorway in the blistering heat, no problem. So 1.4, 81, 5,000 miles. It's a good, good car. It's just unfortunately looks wise, it does need the paint addressing. It needs a new grill new plates but obviously wifeyest plates link in the description but yeah um the plan was to like um, modify it literally like like a show car to so slam it on the ground and then some like big chrome or bronze wheels because it would have matched with the green it had um lupo seats which i didn't even know i suspect someone who's quite like invested in the group these seats are actually from uh, lupo which is why they don't even remotely match but they're literally like brand new genuinely like as far as car goes cars go it's not like um like a special car it's not it's no, never gonna make you feel, feel like you're rich but if you just want a car for everyday use this is it it does what it's meant to do that is it i'm fortunate enough as to where i i, I can pick and choose my cars and the next video is going to obviously show you what i bought no this car would have been amazing to build it just needs a bit too much work if it was mechanical i could have fixed that but paint-wise, I've got no experience in paint and I haven't really got a lot of time at the moment, so I, I don't really want to learn. I know it sounds like an excuse. It kind of is. I would have lo loved to have built this thing, like like I said, green with the bronze wheels. It would have looked stunning. Maybe one day it's just bad, bad timing. I don't know why I bought it. I, as you can see, I clearly didn't think things through. I will be selling this car for a small loss, well, hopefully a small loss. I don't know how bad it's going to be. If it even sells, I might be um, stuck with it. But yeah, at the moment, I have got three cars. Um, the other one's actually at my nan's house. So in the next video, as I said, we're going to go over there and we're going to check out the car. But yeah, that will be car number 10 as well. So it's time to calm down, especially considering this all happened in the last 18 months, which is crazy to think. But yeah, I know I didn't really even talk about the car, so no one probably cares. But the Seat is going. I just like to keep you updated. But I feel like the channel has taken such a shit turn. Like it's constantly new car, sold a car, new car, sold a car, new car, sold a car. I think I finally found my two car garage that I want to keep. For now, yes, this is up for sale. If you want it and it's still available, um, just drop me a message. As I said, mechanically, it's spot on. But the paint does need a dressing. Seats are like new. Headlining is like... I don't know, it's just a good car, you know, like, as I said, I'm quite fortunate to be able to pick and choose the cars I, I drive. But if I didn't care and I just needed a quick, not quick, it's very slow. If I needed like a reli reliable, sensible everyday car, I, I think I found it, but I don't need it. And I think as much as I would like to keep it and have three projects, because the Clio is, is also a project as well. I can't justify having three. Something has to go, and I don't know how to do paint, so the Rosa is gonna go. I'm sorry if it's um, annoying anyone, um, me constantly swapping and changing, but as I said, I think I finally found the right two cars for me. So the next video is gonna be me revealing my new car. Hopefully it's the last one for a while. But yeah, as for the Rosa, we're gonna say bye-bye, uh, even though we never really said hi.